Maureen Mustard, who is our Director of Healthcare Statistics and, and, and Analytics, is going, to t is going to give you sort of a preview of uh, things to come with regard to our health cost and our health cost website. I don't, I don't know if you all know it, but New Hampshire is a leader uh, nationally with regard to the data that it collects and what it does with the data that it collects. As a matter of fact, um, we've won awards. I, I thank Tyler for uh, the, the award that he won uh, pretty recently with, with uh, uh, with all of this. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the effort that uh, that we do here in New Hampshire. So hi, I'm Maureen Mustard. I'm the Director of Healthcare Analytics for the New Hampshire Insurance Department. And I'm here to just give you a brief update on what we're doing with our health cost tool. Um, but I'll start with um, just some background information for those of you who aren't that familiar. Um, in 2003, the New Hampshire legislation was created to, uh, to create the comprehensive healthcare information system where we collect all of the claims data. And in 2007, the department launched its health cost tool. Um, 2010, it began to expand the number of procedures that were shown. Um, and in 2013, federal funds became available to uh, states to help improve price transparency, and New Hampshire was included um, in that funding. So the strategy that was devised was to use these federal funds. We hired vendors to help improve the site. They did research to um, recommend consumer-friendly language and a consumer-friendly look to the site for ease of use, um, expand the number of procedures available on the site, include quality measures to help um, consumers make better decisions, and um, to help market and do consumer outreach to help uh, make people aware of the site so that they know they have some options when it comes to um, price information. Um, so the upcoming release will be um, in January of 2016. We'll include um, new cost information on 48 additional procedures, including dental, physical therapy, chiropractic, behavior, sleep studies, labs, prescription drugs. Um, it'll also be ADA um, compliant, so all set all different types of people can use it, regardless of any um, limitations they might have. It'll also be um, easily accessible on your smartphone and tablet. Um, like I said, the update will include quality of care indicators. These are um, compiled from nationally recognized sources, not from the insurance department ourselves. Um, but we worked in collaboration with DHHS to make sure that we're providing quality information the right way. Um, we also have created a guide to health insurance, uh, which covers three major topics of getting health insurance, navigating the healthcare system with your insurance, and how to manage your costs. And these categories also include links to outside sources to help um, make sure it's a good consumer resource. Um, we, will con we have ongoing projects, and in the near future, we'll be continuing to expand the number of procedures available to include obstetrics, dermatology, pediatrics, and urgent care, um, as well as develop ways to include the Medicare and Medicaid data that will now be included in the information system database. We always look for user input. Um, the new guide to healthcare has buttons to indicate whether or not the question and answer were helpful. The, you see them a lot, little thumbs up, thumbs down, to help us improve the quality of the guide. Um, User input is always, has always been welcome um, through comment sections. And um, as we go about um, marketing and doing consumer outreach, we'll be making sure that the public is aware that we're there as a resource for them and that they can contribute suggestions and give any feedback. And we're always trying to help improve the experience and to help, um, help people with their health care decisions. Um, the future of health cost. We're looking to continue to expand the number of procedures that we have on the site, possibly have a map of healthcare delivery patterns in the state based on associated volume, the feasibility of integrating provider network information so that a person can see a low cost provider and know immediately based on their plan, hopefully, that yes, this is someone that's covered with their, by their plan instead of going out to a low cost provider and then finding out it's not covered by the plan that they have. Um, and to um, improve some user feedback tools, possibly having questions like, how close was our price to the price that you were charged? 
did your primary care physician send you to the low cost provider um, and ways to looking into ways and in how we can incorporate that information into our site in the future. Um, so I will now take you to a, the test site that we have. So this is not um, live online right now, but rather just in development. We have a brand new home page. Um, this, all of the information that will be seen today is just test data, so it's a very small slice of data. It's not going to be what will be um, available in January. But you can see that it's been redesigned to try to help consumers know that they can go get cost and quality information easily. So a consumer might come here, and because we have so many different types of cost information available, we now have different buckets for a consumer to help make it a little bit more user friendly so they don't have huge lists that they need to sort through. But if we go into our medical procedures, the consumer still has the option to put in their insurance carrier and their type of plan. And then they can go and they can look at different types of cost information that they're interested in. One of our new um, pieces of information is laboratory services. So if you're going in for your physical, they may tell you to go get a comprehensive metabolic panel, and it tells you a little bit about what's included in that. And then you can come in and see from the different facilities in the state what the cost is for that type of blood test. And you can sort it by facility, you can sort it by um, what you're going to pay, and it should sort. Um, so we're working out some of the kinks here, but you can still see that <laughs> Um, the price ranges from $9 to $122, so there's quite a difference in what your options are. But if you don't like to drive very far, you can always come in and enter your zip code. And if you're in Manchester, you can give a 10 mile radius so you don't want to drive very far and you can see the major facilities available to you within a reasonable drive. Um, we always have a drop-down menu if you'd like to scroll through the different um, cost information available and or you can come back out I'm sorry this is a different mouse for me <laughs> don't mean to make you dizzy <laughs> um, another thing that we have um, available is behavioral health services so you can come in and say if I need to go have an hour session um, with a provider, I can come in and find out all the different places that are available. And as well, you can go back to the example of our major city and see one that's within a reasonable drive of your house and know how much you're going to pay within your specific location. Another new and exciting feature is the cost of dental procedures. This is something that you know a lot of people find to be a mystery. So and many people may not have insurance, so we can start as an uninsured user um, just to go in for a dental cleaning, and they can come in and see the different providers in the state. There'll be many more than are available in our test data, and they can see how much cleaning is at various dentists within the state. Um, and if they decide, well, am I going to save anything with insurance, they can come in and easily come in and put in you know, some the offering of their uh, employer and see is it worthwhile to sign up for dental insurance and they'll get some calculations and they'll understand, you know, how precise our estimate is and the patient complexity. And if they have any questions about what we're talking about on our charts, they can hover over our question mark and get a detailed explanation of what it is that they're looking at. So another big addition to um, our website is our quality care measures. So these are, like I said, from nationally recognized sources, um, not something that we calculated within the department, but um, something people always like to know about is the patient experience. And these, you know, would their friends recommend a hospital? And it, these are all compared with the national average for the same questions being asked throughout the country. 
And you can see that there's a wide range of responses from consumers, as you can imagine there always is. Um, and then if you're saying, oh, well, again, I'm in Manchester, let me see what CMC has for all the other indicators. You can look on the left, and those are all the patient responses at the top, and then scroll through all the other measures, which are much more clinical, about timeliness of antibiotics, and um, again, the patient experience, but also readmission rates, pneumonia care, and various other um, standard quality measures, and get a good idea of what kind of hospital it is that you're going to be sent to or that you will be going to to receive um, whatever surgery you need. Um, and as I mentioned, the other big um, addition to the site is our guide to health insurance, which we're continuing to work through. Um, so we have commonly asked questions will pop up at the top when users start to um, use the site that, that will constantly change based on what questions um, consumers keep going to so that that will be easy for them to find. This search bar will also help you search within the site. So if you just want to look up a particular term you're not familiar with, you can go there. It'll direct you exactly to that question within the guide. But if you just want information in general, you can come down to our topics and come into getting health insurance. Maybe you're one of those that are still uninsured in the state and you want to know what are my options and how do I choose the best plan for me? And you can come in and it'll explain all the different um, pieces that you want to know. Um, and, and again, because there's so many terms that people may not be familiar with, instead of them having to be there with their dictionary or go do a separate Google search, we can, you can hover over particular words that people find difficult to understand and they have a quick and easy um, definition for you there. Um, and then if, you've, if you're brand new to insurance and you say, well, now that I have insurance, I need to go get some health care, and you come into navigating the health care system, and what do I need to know now that I have insurance? Maybe this is something brand new for you, and we tell you all the different pieces of information that you might need, making sure you pay your premiums on time. People sometimes forget to do that, and then they wonder why they've lost their coverage. So. Um, again, we go through, you can go through the, some of the more difficult words and get quick and easy definitions, and hopefully this will help people. They'll come down here and click yes every time, but if they click no, we'll try to improve <laughs> their response or improve the question that's available. Um, and another important piece um, is managing cost, um, what, understanding your cost. You know, all right, so I started paying my premiums. What else am I going to have to pay? And we try to lay it out easily for people to understand since it's diff these are difficult concepts even for people who are highly educated on it. So, again, you know, they can come in, just get some quick definitions so that they can understand when they're paying their bills. Um, so that is the highlight reel of our updated um, websites.